All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So we're going to talk about Nintendo a little bit. Don't have that much to say, but I'm going to try to get the video to eight minutes for monetization purposes. Um, but according to this article, uh, the Switch 2, whatever it's going to be called, will likely be an iteration rather than a revolution. And that comes from Dr. Sirkin Toto, who is the CEO of Tokyo-based game industry consultancy, Catan Games. So it says, according to Catan Games, the console could launch at $400, $100 higher than what the Switch launched at. And there's a chance that the games could adopt the $70 pricing of the PS5, Xbox Series X, and everything else, and pretty much the rest of the industry. Everybody's moved to $70, uh, except Capcom. I think Cap Capcom's first $70 game might be, uh, might be Drag Dragon's Dogma 2, I think. But everybody's moving to, to $70. Uh, it, they say, uh, the time is finally here for the Switch successor. Even though I can say a pro model actually did exist and certain developers were working with a dev kit, I believe the next hardware will drop in 2024 for $400. There is a high chance that the games will cost $70. According to the industry consultant, um, Nintendo's next console will again have portable functionality as VGC reported last year. The next system is also likely to be an iteration rather than a revolution. Uh, Nintendo might add some bells and whistles to the to to the device, but it will be similar to the current Switch. Um, so yeah, that's really the statement. So when the Switch first came out, I was not an you know a, a fan of it. I was not an early adopter, um, but I think I ended up picking up one around I want to say 2020, 2021 because of the games. Right, I wasn't a fan of the console necessarily, and I still play dang near everything in, in dock mode on a TV on, on the Switch. But g games are all that really matter when it comes down to it. That's the most important thing, and that's what made me um, eventually pick one up uh, You know, after skipping it for a whole bunch of years. Because those first three years, I wasn't really impressed by the games, but, those, but a bunch of games started coming. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting one. And ever since that year, there's always been like two, three, sometimes sometimes four games that I beat from that console uh, in, in a year. And that's all I really need. You know, if you give me two or three, you know, exclusive games, I think that, uh, that, that you know, that justifies the console. So I've really been enjoying the, the Switch, um, you know, the last uh, about four years, I would say. And I don't really want much. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. We don't really want much more from a, from a, a Switch successor other than, a more powerful switch, maybe one or two other f extra features that we didn't have before, and fix the online. Um, if you could somehow promote and encourage people to actually hardwire their device when they're playing online, that would be great. That would also improve the online experience because a bunch of these people playing their games and you know using Wi-Fi and not hardwired, which I understand the portability of it kind of promotes that but that that would, that would be great if you could just improve your online even even the wi-fi capabilities you know even if people are playing on wi-fi just make the online experience better and um you know we don't want it to be necessarily this super powerhouse we don't that's not necessary i think the rumors were that it would be on par or slightly more powerful than a a, a, a ps4 or xbox <clears throat> xbox one which is fine um, as long as it could play most games, I would say at 1080p, you know, 60, if you could have an, an OLED version of the screen, screen, because I guess I doubt, I don't know if the, if the, uh, you know, the original version that they put out is going to be OLED, I doubt it. Um, and that's really all we want. We don't, we don't need much more, you know, just make it, make it powerful enough, like I said, to do that and that you don't have to have, uh. What do you, what do you, you know, like with Mortal, I think, was it with Mortal Kombat? No, it wasn't Mortal Kombat. The Mortal Kombat version of, of that, that game was, was terrible um, on the Switch. The Switch version was terrible. Um, but they always have uh, like cloud versions of their games because the Switch itself just can't handle a lot of these multiplats. So make a console powerful enough 
that you don't have to have cloud versions of the games. That's the, and I think that's the only version of those games, the only way to even play them on the Switch, if, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken and understand correctly. So that's ridiculous. So make it powerful enough. Um, if, you know, the price, I think a $400 price tag is, is okay. Plenty of people would flock to it. Um, it's not necessarily a full, it wouldn't be a full, I guess, uh, console generation jump, which I think where we, I think we've been in a way, uh, at the point of diminishing returns. So huge jumps. I mean, Nintendo definitely could make a huge jump, right? Because it's not like they're, uh, you know, they, they always pursue the, you know, I guess the, the cutting edge or the, you know, the, the best, um, the best GPU, CPU, and all and all that stuff in, in in their consoles, like Nintendo and Xbox. Uh, I mean, not like PlayStation and Xbox does. Um, the best that they can within a certain price range, of course. Um, so, could they make a huge jump as far as you know the, the graphical you know prowess of their console? They could, but they don't necessarily care about that, which is fine. Just make it just make it good enough, man. Just make a good enough jump and that's that's all we really want. Um online, a powerful enough console, still make it portable portable for those who like to play it, play it on that. Like I said, I still play in, in dock mode. Um and and the games are obviously the most important thing. I mean, I really don't have that much more to say or, you know, my expectations um, for or wish lists for features aren't really that high. Um, yeah, I, I think that's all most people want. The Switch was a success, so if you just make a what would essentially be, I guess, a Switch Pro based on what this um, consultant is predicting, and this consultant could be completely wrong, but if it is just a half step, I guess, Fine, whatever. Um, that that's that's cool. The switch is 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 massively successful. If you make one that you you gotta worry about the marketing a little bit. <clears throat> you don't want it to be too similar, look too similar, seem like it's literally just a switch 1.5. Um, you know, because that was an issue that they had with the uh with you know with the Wii U so you got to be careful not to make that same mistake again but I'm I'm fine with this I look forward to it I I haven't bought a the last time I bought a Switch console day 1 was probably the GameCube and the GameCube is still my favorite Nintendo console actually still um behind that would probably be the Super Nintendo and then the N64 um but yeah, it's been a long time since I bought a Nintendo console day one, so this would probably be the next one I buy day one. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you're not. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Let me know what y'all want in a next Switch console, because I'm sure there's plenty of things I'm not considering. But what, what's on y'all wish list? Let me know. All right, I'm out. Peace.